Good morning, Nick here. I uh, thought I'd do a, a band scan on the new Eaton Elite satellite. Um, today we're only going to use the whip. No external antennas, just whips. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, you might have heard me say that it seemed uh, the, the, the limited testing, which was literally 60 seconds that I tested without the, with, with the whip, that it seemed to be okay. Well, it was at that, for that period of time, maybe it was just that time of day on that channel or in that band and it was, it seemed to be okay, but Everything I've done since then, like last night after I made that video, and then this morning, I've just been playing around a little bit. It doesn't sound good. Uh, there's there's like a buzz or a humming. And I'm like, okay, it sounds like RFI in there. And I'm like, all right, is it the light from the screen? So I turn the light off on the screen. Doesn't change. I move the radio to a different place in the house. Doesn't change. Take it outside, okay? Doesn't change. I'm going to compare it head to head with that. And even if I am getting RFI, I'm not getting it on that one. So, you know, th that's the main competition for that radio. And if, if this sounds like butt and this sounds good, you know, and I'm not going to tell you it does. I'm going to let you make up your own mind. Anyway, let's start. So you can see the clock, it's about 10 a.m. Central Time in Dallas. All right, so an initial thought, you might think, oh, there's no, there's no station broadcasting there. Maybe not. Let's experiment a little bit more with the attenuator. So it's on internal antenna, you can see that. Well, first of all, I'm going to turn the light on just to show you that that noise doesn't get worse or go away. So the, the hum, that annoying hum, stays the same. Local. I put on local, but the hum goes away. All right. External antenna, which there's nothing hooked up, so it's not helping us. Internal antenna, no attenuation, annoying hum, can't hear anything. All right, let's see if this one gets the annoying hum and can't hear anything. Wait, I must be on a different channel. Nope, 13.45 a.m. We are on the whip antenna. No attenuation. This one has an annoying switch. It's a three position switch, but it, it's so stiff. I'm always jumping the middle position. There's middle. Can barely hear it. Full DX. I can hear the Reverend Freak Show, whatever his name is. Okay. So just to make sure that I'm not an idiot. Well, I might be anyway, but let's go back to this one. Now I got an annoying home. Let's turn around a little. So, the only time this radio is quiet is when it's muting on tuning. Right. I think there's a station broadcasting at 15770. Well, at least it stopped buzzing. Now you hear how 
you can hear voices now and you couldn't before. That's an anomaly that I experience multiple times where if you go to where you know there's a signal, maybe you compared it from another radio, you, you can't hear anything. But if you click this button and then click it back, you can hear it. Or if you tune away and tune back, you can hear it. It's like the radio needed something to jar it to, to, to get back to where it's supposed to be. I don't know a better way to explain it. And as proof of that, if you go to my video from yet last night, when I was doing the, uh, the uh, Shannon Vomit at 10.051 near the end of the video, you notice when I was like tuning it 100 hertz at a time to try to see where I was getting the best you know, report coming in, like where it was clearest. A couple of times I clicked like from like point one to point two, and then I went back to point one and it was even worse. And then I went to zero and then back to point one and it was better. It was like the radio needed something to jar it to make it, well, to say to make it work is, is not really the right term because this thing doesn't work. So, anyway. Internal antenna, DX, four kilohertz, AM. Sync, maximum bandwidth on sync, four kilohertz. Unlistenable. Via WRMI, Okeechobee, Florida, USA. Please send your comments. Welcome back. Who tells me Whoa. Putin seems paranoid and unwilling? Let me make to sure that Wellbrook isn't hooked up to this thing. Nope. The Russian leader could be completely off his rocker. I think he's well one inch. I, I really do. You might be crazy. Just so see what's going on here. So, antennas up in the air. All right, let's see. how. What's the length on the two antennas? The H501 is slightly longer. I have it canted slightly this way to clear this light. All right. Another thing about the antennas, this one's, if you move it, it falls under its own weight. It's not very stiff. It's not very tight. The Texan, wherever you put it, it stays. It's really confidence inspiring. This one is not. The antenna feels like it's going to fall under its own weight. Wherever, you, Unless you move it all the way forward and lean it against like the body of this. But anyway, you're hearing this. We're on 5 kilohertz bandwidth, AM, DX position, meaning no attenuation. So we're getting this station, but you hear it? You're still getting that static, and you can hear the remnants of that buzz. That buzz is hovering right below the signal. It's like... If a strong enough signal comes in, it kind of makes that buzz go away a little bit. It's almost like I've got, you know, like uh, uh, the, the cheapest LED light off of Amazon sitting right next to this thing blaring, shooting RFI into it. And I can't make it go away across the whole thing. I, it was down at 5,000, it's, it's, it's at 7,000, it's at 11,000, it's at 15,000. It was last night late at midnight and it's currently now it's what, 10 in the morning? Yeah. Now, if I plug the Wellbrook in, what the hell, let's try it. If I plug the Wellbrook in, it goes away. 
That's because you're getting signal to, to, to cover it. So, the Wellbrook is hooked up, and the, the antenna selector is selected to this radio, but I'm still on the internal antenna. Hear how the buzzing has disappeared? That's, that's because of that little bit of feed that you get that's inside of the radio. It's, it's either making the buzz go away or it's covering the buzz. Her mother was a homemaker her See, now I don't even, so I'm getting such a good signal right now. I don't know if this station is on 770 or 775 because the bandwidth is so wide. It's on 770. All right, let's put it on external antenna. External DX. So I'm getting a little bleed through. I can hear some other stations talking in the background. Hit the DX. Bleed through's gone. This sounds pretty darn good. And acted as lead. This almost, almost sounds good, normal, almost sounds normal, it's like there's no more bugs. Alright, so what was that other station, 11, 13845. Alright, so on the whip, this was zero, nothing. You're making God a liar, you know. You're making God a liar, you know. Of course you want to. But, all right. I'm very disappointed.